All right, this is an iron meteorite sliced in half. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. What is this right here? And what is that right there? Well, let's take a real close look. That one there is a black spot, which is blood, and it is the vein blood. All right. The one right above it is the artery, which is red. Anybody who's a mud fossil person knows the different colors, the red and the black. And that's what fed this whatever organ this was. And there's only three of them that are really good, heavy-duty blood iron meteorites, and that's a heart, a lung, and a liver. They are saturated with blood, and that's all this is, is blood. Your, your blood is made out of all these metals. All the tra there's 26 metals they just did a study on in the blood, and they, then there's iron and all, copper and all, a ton of different metals in there. They, and there's all these different metals, and they want to see what the quantities are. I just, I've studied this stuff very deeply. Now, that's an iron meteorite. There's blood in these things. There's blood in every meteorite I can find. And I have some right here. And when I say there's blood in them, you see this right here? This is an iron meteorite. Well, it's not iron. It's a, it's, and it's not even close to iron. It's, it's got enough iron in it that it's magnetic. But it's not like a solid iron meteorite. This was a tendon assembly. And you say, well, how do I know that? Well, because I know what tendons look like. And that right there is with the gnarly little spot at the end of a tendon. It comes down like this and latches in. It came across here and latched into like this. Everything here is burnt off, all the way down to the skin. All right, this, there was flesh probably around, maybe all the way out to here, I don't know. And all that stuff went, because here's where the tendons are. That's deep inside. This is the basement layer. All right, this here is the real deep flesh, or whatever kind of, whatever it was underneath here. And I, I believe this came in like that, and didn't go flopping around. Usually when they flop, they, go, they get torn up. This one looks like it cooked the face of it, just, and left this cooked. It's very, very cooked, yes, absolutely. It was probably out to here, but it didn't rip it to shreds. Now, when I say I can show this blood in there, take a look at this right here. I, I am saying when this came through space, I don't know when it was, it was wet in here. And there was a layer, this layer right here come, came out like this and would have attached more straps. So that layer was like right on top of there. Why isn't it there anymore? Why isn't it there anymore? Because there was wet blood in here. And when this came through cooking, it got so hot, that the, it boiled and exploded that chunk right off of there. And all you need to do is put a little bit of moisture on there, and that blood turns red again. It rehydrates almost instantan well, instantaneously. You see that? That's about as red as it gets. And it's, that's why it exploded. It was wet. It had the water. It, the, these things in space, they're still saturated. Even the one they brought back, Benu, they said, yeah, it's got water in it and clay, all the different minerals. It's got amino acids, you know, which are parts of the RNA and the DNA, and uh, everything, exactly everything that's in the human blood. Because it's a heart, and they came back with the sarcomeres on top. There's just no question what I'm talking about is, is true. And then I have my little heart here. This is, I mean, no, I'm sorry, this is a, a, a lung. All those little holes are where there was alveoli, and they explode outwards. These aren't holes going in. I mean, they are now. But there was blood in there. It was wet, and they exploded out. This is a lung, and that, and that I'm 100% certain of because it has the, the latch, the spur lock, I call it, which locks the lungs and all organs into your body so that they can't flop around and just go anywhere they want. They're locked in with these latches. And there's a spur lock. I can, I, I can show you this in a microscope, I'm sure. It'll only take a second to see it. And you'll be able to see the blood in all these, these little um, alveoli. And here's, of course, the main one is down here. 
So anyway, I got some pretty good evidence here. It cannot be denied. And I have a batch of different meteorites. I have everything that I, I claim I have, and I can show it, and I will.